Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. While information on the movements of confirmed COVID-19 carriers is being disclosed to the Korean public, Kyungi Province has requested more detailed information on the movements of such individuals from the central government. When the 19th confirmed patient was revealed to have traveled from home to his workplace and to his parents' home in Bundanggu of Sungnam City, the lack of information on the exact locations of his visits fueled fears of virus contamination in those areas. The request for more detailed information was made by Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung to alleviate such public anxiety. This request was made to Prime Minister Jung Se-gyun on February 8th when he visited the provincial government to discuss the COVID-19 situation. Governor Lee asserted that those who are closer to confirmed patients must be provided with more detailed information. Governor Lee also proposed that all pneumonia in patients be tested for COVID-19 so as to avoid overlooking any possible cases. Prime Minister Jung offered assurances that he will introduce Governor Lee's proposals for discussion at a minister's meeting. The Prime Minister also stated that he will promote the exemplary efforts of Gyeonggi Province among other local autonomies. On February 7th, Gyeonggi Province and the cities of Hwasong and Osan signed a cooperation agreement for the construction of tram lines in Dongtan New Town of Hwasong City. Dongtan New Town has been facing a dire situation stemming from its continuously growing population and a serious lack of public transportation services. This tram system, which runs without generating carbon dioxide, will provide an eco-friendly means of alleviating the transportation difficulties faced by Dongtan New Town residents. According to this agreement, the three authorities will establish an executive committee to work together in preparation of basic plans. The Dongtan tram system will consist of two lines covering a total distance of 32.35 kilometers. These two lines cross each other at Dongtan Station. Officially referred to as the Dongtan Urban Railroad Project, this tram system is slated for completion in 2027. Following a recent news report on a discovery of high carcinogen levels in groundwater near a U.S. military base, residents in nearby villages are voicing their concerns. In order to ensure the safety of those residents, Kyungi Province conducted groundwater inspections around military bases. In this village of approximately 180 households near Camp Stanley, an American military facility, Kyungi officials collect samples from the water supply system for examination at a provincial institute. Kyungi Province, Weijungbu City, and an environment organization, 
will jointly perform groundwater inspections of U.S. military bases in the city. This inspection plan follows a report on the discovery of perfluoride levels that were 15 times greater than normal in samples collected at five locations near a U.S. military base. These substances include a known carcinogen. The inspection subjects include samples collected from 13 groundwater pumps used for the provision of living and drinking water and located within 100 meters of Camp Red Cloud and Camp Stanley. Examination results will be announced in approximately two weeks. While Gyeonggi Province is devoting itself to preventing the spread of COVID-19, false news reports about such efforts are causing the province to unnecessarily divide its energies to counter them. This person is quoting a news report with a picture of a Chinese national who died while waiting to see a doctor at a public health center in Pyeongtaek City. He is spreading false news, asserting that the Korean government's announcement that the death is not related to COVID-19 cannot be true. Last month, this Chinese national tested negative for COVID-19. He has not visited China nor had contact with other Chinese nationals within the past six months. Gyeonggi Province informed Pyeongtaek City about this false news report. The city immediately declared the YouTube content in question to be false and requested that police undertake a cybercrime investigation of the person who posted the video on YouTube. This person even used a fake Gyeonggi Province document about the number of confirmed COVID-19 cases. 가짜 뉴스로 인해서 도민들 국민들이 불안감이 많이 조장되고 있습니다. 그 불안감은 결국 정부 정책의 신뢰성을 떨어뜨림으로 해서 함께 헤쳐나가야 되는데 불구하고 그런 거를 막는 경우가 돼서 Through the 24-hour monitoring of YouTube, social networking services and other online channels, Gyeonggi Province will respond strongly to false news and ensure that police investigations are undertaken in such cases. On February 11th, the first Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly session of the year began with a general meeting. This session will run flexibly to ensure a concentrated focus on the COVID-19 outbreak. This is the 341st extraordinary session of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly. The Provincial Assembly decided to postpone inquiries on administrative affairs, which were originally scheduled for February 12th and 13th, to the next session so as to allow the administration to concentrate on COVID-19 countermeasures, for which Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed his appreciation. Governor Lee also expressed his appreciation to Ichan City residents for accommodating fellow Koreans from Wuhan City in China during their quarantine. The Standing Committee review of the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly began February 12th and will continue until February 25th. 경기도 외 신종 코로나 바이러스 비상 대책 본부를 조기에 출범시키며 확산 방지를 위해 송한준 의장님을 중심으로 선도적 노력을 다하고 있습니다. The second general meeting of the session will be held as scheduled on February 26th. On February 12th, Koreans from Wuhan City of China were admitted to a quarantine camp in Ichon City. Gyeonggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung expressed his appreciation to Ichon residents for accepting their fellow Koreans.
The third group of Koreans who were transported from Wuhan City on a chartered flight began their stay at temporary accommodations in Incheon City. During his visit to the Situation Room established at the entrance to the National Defense Language Institute, the site of the camp, Governor Lee met with local residents and expressed his appreciation for their acceptance of the arrivals. He also offered assurances of provincial support for local economy promotion. <laughs> Local residents at the meeting responded by expressing their devotion to civic duty and solidarity with fellow Koreans. <laughs> After meeting with local residents, Governor Lee visited a local food direct sales outlet in Ichan City and helped with the promotion of local agricultural foods and specialty products. Gyeonggi Province provided Ichan City with 600 million Korean won from its disaster management fund for the emergency supply of hygiene products, including masks and protective clothes. The province also plans to perform the sterilization of commercial areas in the vicinity twice daily while improving the related environments. While COVID-19 is making headlines worldwide, Gyeonggi Province plans to launch psychological treatment support for those who suffer from post-traumatic stress due to the virus. To implement this support, Gyeonggi Province launched a provincial COVID-19 disaster psychological support team. Consisting of 700 mental health specialists from local mental health and welfare centers, this team will provide Gyeonggi residents with related psychological consultation services. 확진을 받으셔야 되는 분들은 보건소를 찾아가시면 되지만 그렇지 않고 스스로를 불안하게 괴롭히실 필요는 없으시거든요. 마음을 가다듬는 게 필요하실 것 같다는 생각이 듭니다. 도움이 필요하시면 저희가 있으니까 언제든지 전화 주시면 됩니다. The psychological consultation services are available to any resident who suffers from mental conditions related to COVID-19 such as anxiety, insomnia and depression. These services can be accessed around the clock by calling 1577-0199. Any Kyungi resident who is not infectious may also seek person-to-person -person consultations. Depending on consultation results, those with high mental health risks will be subject to continuous monitoring. To address public anxiety and fear stemming from COVID-19, Gyeonggi Province is also distributing mental health care guidelines to local mental health and welfare centers and selected treatment facilities. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.